subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From a report that points to the devastating loss of biodiversity over the last five decades to a new research which suggests that an interstellar object may actually be a cosmic dust bunny, on this edition of Scientifics, we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. The world has lost a whopping 68% of its population of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and fish since 1970 as a result of human activities that leave a devastating impact on natural habitats. According to WWF's Living Planet Report 2020, the factors that increase the planet's vulnerability to pandemics such as land use change and wildlife trade are also responsible for driving this decline. The report, put together by more than 125 experts from across the world, tracked trends in global wildlife abundance. Almost 21,000 populations of more than 4,000 vertebrate species between 1970 and 2016 were studied. One of the key findings of the report shows that the way we humans produce our food is the main cause of the dramatic decline in species populations on land. Agricultural expansion has led to habitat loss and degradation and deforestation. Moreover, wildlife populations found in the freshwater habitats have suffered a decline of 84%, which is the starkest average population decline in any biome since 1970. The report also warns that without further efforts to counteract habitat loss and degradation, global biodiversity will continue to decline. The modelling makes clear that substantial changes need to be made to our food and energy production and consumption by 2030 to avoid reaching a point of no return. Another research this week shows why conserving life on Earth may be precious. Scanning through a patch of sky that is known to include at least 10 million stars, scientists have failed to detect any sign of intelligent life. Using the MWA radio telescope in Australia, scientists this week completed the deepest and broadest search at low frequencies for alien technologies. The team, which included scientists from India, observed the sky around the Vela constellation. And it appears that at least this part of the universe has no signs of alien civilizations. The MWA telescope searches for powerful radio emissions at frequencies similar to FM radio frequencies. Scientists believe that these techno-signatures could indicate the presence of an intelligent life form outside our solar system. The scientists are not yet giving up. According to the team, even though this was a big study, the amount of space they searched was equivalent of trying to find something in the Earth's oceans by only searching a volume of water equivalent to a backyard swimming pool. Also this week, a photograph of a cauliflower has made headlines across the world. What is special about this image is that it is the biggest ever image taken in one shot. This image was taken by a sensor that will be part of the world's largest digital camera. The shot, made up of 3.2 billion pixels, is so large that it would need 378 4K TV screens to show it at full size. To give you an idea of what this means in terms of resolution, this camera would make a golf ball visible from 24 kilometers away. This part of the camera will be integrated with the body of the Rubin Observatory LSST camera along with its lenses, a shutter and a filter system to observe the night sky in varying colours. The finished camera will be around the size of an SUV and final testing will begin in mid-2021. The camera will be large enough to capture a portion of the sky the size of 40 full moons. It will be able to spot astronomical objects with sensitivity similar to a human seeing a candle from thousands of miles away. Meanwhile, scientists have found that interactions between Jupiter's moons are heating these cosmic bodies up. In a process called tidal heating, gravitational tugs from the Jupiter's moons and the planet itself stretch and squish the moons enough to warm them. 
As a result, some of the icy moons contain interiors warm enough to host oceans of liquid water. In the case of the rocky moon Io, tidal heating melts rock into magma. Researchers earlier believed that the gas giant Jupiter was responsible for most of the tidal heating. However, a new study now shows that moon-moon interactions may be more responsible for the heating than Jupiter alone. Understanding how the moons influence each other is important because this can shed light on the evolution of the moon system as a whole. Jupiter has nearly 80 moons. Meanwhile, scientists believe that a cigar-shaped interstellar visitor known as Oumuamua may be nothing more than a cosmic dust bunny. On Earth, dust bunnies describe clumps of dust particles held together by static electricity that are often found floating around under furniture. Ever since its discovery in 2017, researchers have been trying to understand how this object originated. Some propose that perhaps the space rock is solid hydrogen that, as the rock nears a star, turns the gas and propels Oumuamua onwards. There have been theories that the rock could be an alien light sail built by an intelligent alien species. In the latest research, scientists suggest that a large chunk of the rock may have broken off a comet's nucleus. As dust and gas particles float away from the nucleus, they attach themselves to the rocky fragment, eventually forming Oumuamua. Over time, as the fragment grew larger, the gas flowing away from the comet pushed the dusty rock out into space from where it eventually floated into our solar system. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.